Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We will continue our lesson on mathematics CFI. For today, we will continue our lesson in topic rounding of numbers. You can refer in your textbook, page 16, page 17, and page 18. In year 5, you will learn numbers up to 6 digit numbers. Example, 285,321. So, in this topic, you need to Master the place value of the digit in the numbers. So we do revision again. For digit 1, the place value of 1 is 1s. For digit 2, the place value is 10s. For 3, the place value is 100s. For digit 5, the place value is thousands. For digit 8, the place value is ten thousands. And for digit 2, the place value is hundred thousands. If you master the place value of the digit, so it will easier for you to do rounding of numbers. Let's go to the example in your textbook. Okay, now we go to example number one. The rubber production of two states in 2018 are as follows. For Selangor, the rubber, produ the rubber produce in kilogram is 241,494 kilogram. While in Malacca, it has 264,405 kilogram. So question A, run of 241,494 to the nearest 10,000. The question asks you to run off the number to the nearest 10,000. So, we circle 10,000. If I show you in number line, by it 10,000, we know that 240,000 is in range 240,000 and 250,000. This number line is made based on 10,000. Okay, so... Between the 10,000, the number should be count in 1,000. I'll show you this with red arrow. 240,000, 241,000, 242,000, 243,000, 244,000, 245,000, until 49,000 and then end with 250,000. So, the number 241,494 should be located in this point. If you can see by the two distance to the right or to the left, this number is near to 240,000. That's why 241,494, if you run off to the nearest 10,000, the answer will be 240,000. Alright, now we go to question B. The question is, run off 264,405 to the nearest 100,000. So, I will write again the number here. And then, we find 100,000 in this number. Which digit is 100,000? Yes, digit 2. Then, if you want to put 
this number into the number line, it should be starting with 200,000 and ending with 300,000. As shown in the number line here. And the number between the 200,000 and 300,000 in the graduation here should be counted in 10,000. 210,000 220,000 230,000 240,000 until 290,000 and the number 264,405 should be located here okay from the number line you can see this number is nearer to 300,000 so when you round off 264,405, the answer will be 300,000. Because the number is nearer to 300,000 rather than 200,000, which is far away. For question number 2, round off 218,000 and 300 centimeter to the nearest 10,000 cm. For this time, we will not use number line. We will use another method to rounding off the numbers. For this time, we will use plus one or plus zero method. Plus zero or plus one method. First of all, First of all, you need to identify the number is rounding off to the nearest what. So, in this question, the question need you to rounding off the numbers to the nearest 10,000. So, you find 10,000. Here is 10,000. You circle the 10,000. That is step number one. Next to the circle, you draw a straight line like a pole okay and then look at the digit to the right of one the digit on the right side of one is eight so you underline it the digit in plus zero group contain zero one two three and 4, while the digit in plus 1 group is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, you refer to the digit 8, which is on the right of 10,000. It is in plus 0 group or plus 1 group. Okay, you can see it is in plus one group, right? So, if it in plus one group, so plus one, you apply to the 10,000. And at the same time, you replace all the digit on the right of the pole line to the zero. Like this. And then you set the 21 plus 1 equal 22. And then followed by 0, 0, 0, 0. So we get the answer 220,000. That's how we do rounding off by using method plus 0 and plus 1. Okay, I will show you another example by using plus zero and plus one method. The question is round of 129,475 to the nearest thousand, 10,000 and 100,000. 
So we do round off to the nearest thousand first. So you write again the number. 475. And then round off to the nearest thousand. So you circle thousand. Circle thousand. And then you put a straight line right on the right of thousand. And then you underline four. Which is next to the thousand. And then you refer four to the group. Whether it is in plus zero or in plus one group. You know that four is in plus zero group. So nine here will plus zero. And then after that you cancel all the digits on the right of the pole and replace with zero and then you write again the number 129 plus zero is the same and then followed by zero 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 so you get 129,000 the next question run off to the nearest 10,000 so you find 10,000 which is digit 2 and then you draw a straight line and underline digit on the right of 10,000, which is 9. 9 belong to plus 1 group here. You can see 9, right? Okay, so plus 1 here, you refer to the 10,000. And then you cancel all digit on the right of the pole, replacing with 0. And then we write the number again, 12 plus 1 equal 13 and followed by 4, 0. So we get 130,000. And then the last question, round off to the nearest 100,000. So you circle 100,000 and draw a straight line and underline digit on the right of 100,000 which is 2. 2 is belong to plus 0 group. So you write plus 0 on the top of 100,000 and then you cancel all digit on the right of the pole and replacing with 0 and then you write the number again 1 plus 0 equal 1 and then followed by five digit zero which is the answer is 100,000 so that's how you do rounding off by using plus zero and plus one method look at question number three round off 380,590 ringgit to the nearest 100,000 ringgit another way you want to do rounding off is by using another method which is hill method like this the question want you to run off this number to the nearest hundred thousand which is digit three so the range for this hill must be starting from Three here is three hundred thousand and ending with four hundred thousand. In the middle of three hundred thousand and four hundred thousand ringgit is three hundred and fifty thousand ringgit. So in this hill, the place for three hundred eighty thousand. 590 ringgit must be somewhere here. So, as you can see, it is nearer to 400,000 ringgit. So, the answer is 400,000 ringgit. For question number 4, the number on which card becomes 800,000 when rounded off to the nearest 100,000. So, you need to run off to the nearest 100,000. So, we find the range for this number. 700,000, 
700,000, 800,000 and 800,000. So the range must be starting from 700,000 and ending with 900,000. Okay, so we do like this by using the hill method 700,000, 800,000 and 900,000. In between of 700,000 and 800,000 is 750,000. Between of 800,000 and 900,000 is 850,000. So we try to locate each number in the question. 4Q, which is 739,998. It is less than 750,000. So Q must be at this area. We mark with Q. And then S, 760,528 is more than 750,000, right? And then S must be in this area. We mark with S. And then 40. 897,285, which is more than 850,000. So, it is located at this area. T. The last number are 845,712 is less than 850,000. So, it will be in this area R. The question want you to find number that can become 800,000 when you round it off to the nearest 100,000. So, the number that is nearer to 800,000 is S and R. So, you can say the numbers on cut S and R become 800,000 when rounded off to the nearest 100,000. I hope this explanation will help you to understand the topic rounding of numbers. Good luck and see you again. Bye-bye.